Hi there, and welcome back to Salt and Brain Hub. My name is Calvin, and today we'll be talking about Herpes Zoster Ophthalmicus. Herpes Zoster Ophthalmicus, more commonly known as shingles, is an ocular and periocular disease characterized by a unilateral painful skin rash in one or more dermatome distributions of the trigeminal nerve, predominantly in the ophthalmic or V1 division. Herpes zoster ophthalmicus occurs typically in older adults but can present at any age and occurs after reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus present within the sensory spinal or cerebral ganglia that had remained after a primary infection that typically causes chickenpox. Unless the immune system is compromised, the varicella zoster virus is usually suppressed. However, when the immune system is weakened, the virus can reactivate from its dormant state to replicate in nerve cells to form the herpes zoster virus, which is the reactivated form of the varicella zoster virus. This typically occurs from within the trigeminal ganglion, which is the large crescent-shaped sensory ganglion of the trigeminal nerve, located in the trigeminal cave and surrounded by cerebrospinal fluid. The trigeminal ganglion contains the cell bodies of the sensory root of the trigeminal nerve. From the ganglion, the three major divisions of the trigeminal nerve emerge anteriorly and inferiorly, with the ophthalmic and maxillary divisions, also known as V1 and V2, passing anteriorly to enter the cavernous sinus, and the mandibular division, also known as V3, descending into the foramen ovale. Nerve cells infected by the reactivated herpes zoster virus within the trigeminal ganglion then shed virions that are carried down the axons to the skin served by the trigeminal ganglion. Depending on which tissues are affected, the local immune response results in skin blisters or ocular inflammation. For reasons not fully understood, herpes zoster infection predominantly affects the ophthalmic nerve. Hence, most of its inflammatory and dermatological symptomology can be observed in the V1 region of the face supplied by the ophthalmic nerve. Many cases of herpes zoster ophthalmicus exhibit a prodromal period of fever, malaise, headache and eye pain before the eruption of the skin rash. The patient may also describe eye pressure, tearing, eye redness or decreasing vision. Pain in the distribution of the trigeminal nerve may be severe. Progressing onwards, erythematous skin lesions with vesicles and crusting lesions in the distribution of the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve can be observed. Hutchinson's sign, defined as skin lesions at the tip, side or root of the nose, is a strong predictor of ocular inflammation and corneal denervation in herpes zoster ophthalmicus and suggests the involvement of one of the main branches of the ophthalmic nerve called the nasociliary nerve. Treatment of herpes zoster ophthalmicus can be provided by oral antivirals and sometimes topical corticosteroids. To prevent herpes zoster ophthalmicus, the recombinant herpes zoster vaccine is recommended for immunocompetent adults older than 50. This recombinant vaccine decreases the chance of developing herpes zoster ophthalmicus by over 90%. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others related to the anatomy of the head, neck and brain. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.